Welcome to Unreal TV with the Sony Xperia Z1 Compact finally now out. We already heard in November about the brand new smartphone by Sony and they were really quick after the CES uh, three weeks ago to bring this little fella out. I ordered it right away because this is I think one of my favorite smartphones this year or will be. Um, at least since, as I said, I just got it today, so we have here, uh, you can see a nice little small smartphone, looks exactly like the Sony Xperia Z1, but we have a smaller screen, uh, screen, uh, screen size of no, um, but only 4.3 um, inches, so it's the Z1 um, in small. We have um, four color options, I chose here the lime one, which is the yellow one, we have also white, pink and black. There's no purple available anymore and the really beautiful thing about the smartphone is that we still have the Snapdragon 800 built in to the 4.3 inches, still the 20.7 megapixel camera, 2 gigs of RAM and it's a waterproof and yeah it's a beautiful little device that we will take a closer look at when we take it out of the box. I try to look at how much uh, actually space we have um, inside but I think it's a 16 gig version but you still have the micro SD slot so you don't have to worry. I also have all kinds of smartphones here on the table that I didn't have with me um, at the CES so we will do a comparison with the S4, Moto G, um, Xperia ZL, LG G2 and the Nokia um, 925 and uh, 1520 and also of course the iPhone 5S so all kinds of things to do here today so let's just take off the top cover and let's see what we will find here inside this uh, beautiful beautiful um, box first of all of course the smartphone which I will put to the side we'll take a look at that um, right after we um, see what else we have here inside the box like for example a little surprise I haven't seen uh, from Sony in a while um, we have a micro USB cable actually here for charging and data transfer of course for that the um, USB um, charger which is um, giving out 1.5 amps at um, 5 volts and actually I didn't even tell you guys that we have a big a 2300 milliamp battery inside the um, Z1 Compact which is uh, the same size as we have for example in a 5 inch big Google Nexus 5 so you guys can imagine that the battery life should be quite good. So we have in-ear headphones um, with um, interchangeable tip sizes um, here and and that's not straight and then there's also here the microphone part where we only have one button for answering and putting down the call and there's no uh, buttons for next song last song or something like that and you can see here the um, other tips that we can use quite nice and there's also a clip on so you can clip it um, where you would want to use it. Oops, a little surprise went here for a little trip we have here the micro USB to um, USB uh, dongle which is actually quite handy this is an OTG cable if you want to plug in for example an external um, USB stick I would say also USB hard drive but I'm not sure if that works I'm guessing not so for USB sticks for example this is quite handy to just check out some um, content from there then we have some to re something to read I won't take these out now I mean um, we have seen manuals and security and advice papers and then of course let's see what this smartphone can do. Here we go. It has a protection foil on the front and the back right now since it's freshly um, here still um, yeah, from the box. Um, and from the first look of course it's a beautiful yellow device but it still has the complete metal um, coating all around is is actually made out of a full metal um, block and they just uh, phrase out actually here uh, cut out here everything that we have for example a space here for the on and off switch then we have the volume control um, dedicated camera button um, right here on the bottom and then nothing here actually on the top on the bottom part we have here the um, speakers also the possibility to just um, hang it around, uh, somewhere up right here on the side like it was possible with the other one the Z1 regular one also um, we have here uh, behind flaps because this is a waterproof smartphone as I already said um, the possibility to just change the SIM the micro SD and the micro USB I can uh, show you guys that let's easily open up here we go 
behind each one of these little um, doors there is also an indicator, a small little white indicator that um, can uh, get a different color if water goes inside. So if uh, Sony, if you send it into Sony, uh, my phone broke, I didn't do anything, no, I didn't drop into the water, um, and they can actually check those um, little indicators, and then they'll see, yeah, uh, you're not uh, saying the truth. There's actually water. You you, you left this open, um, then yeah, the the warranty is of course gone. So, you can see here also we have a little docking station port like we have with the Z1 and the Z Ultra. So, you don't have to actually even open up here the little flap for micro USB for um, connecting it to your PC. You can just use the docking connector. And there is an open 3.5mm headphone jack. This is also quite cool since yeah, the, um, it, this doesn't break actually when this goes into water. So, that's quite handy. There is the big camera, uh, 20.7 megapixel, has beautiful quality. Um, the flash also and yeah NFC is right here on the top with the Sony logo and Xperia right down the bottom on the front We have of course the screen beautiful 4.3 inches We can just unlock it and then you can see here of course Snapdragon 800 um, um, working quite fast here But we will do a full review video quite soon about this phone um, so you guys can see Perfectly how Android 4.3 is running here with the Bravia Engine 2 um, installed, what the battery life was for us. Um, we'll show you guys all that in a few days uh, since this is actually a quite beautiful phone and you can see it fits really perfectly in your hand and uh, also in your palm. It doesn't um, yeah, hurt it or anything like that since it has a quite nice round edge and it feels really quite good just, just to hold and also put to your um, uh, ear for example. So I won't show you much about the software or actually not more about the software but what I want to check out for example is okay the Nokia Lumia 920 is I think over a year old but you can see here that the yellow color is a little bit different on that one not much. Yeah but it is a little bit different. That's the only reason I have it here because actually if you want to just compare the size and a form factor and uh, kind of similar design. We have a Nokia Lumia 925 here also where we have here also the metal um, edges or the metal borders and it's quite cool to see that the 4.5 inch smartphone is about the same size as the uh, 4.3 inch smartphone and there's only a few millimeters in difference um, here in height but otherwise it's exactly the same as you can see here. But that's of course not a flagship, so let's just put the Nokia's here to the side and let's for example check out the Apple iPhone 5S in size comparison which has a 4 inch screen and is actually also the same size. Uh, maybe a few millimeters shorter in the height, but if I put them on top of each other you guys will right away see um, that yeah exactly um, yeah, they, they are actually looking quite alike but only a few millimeters here on the bottom different uh, on the top difference and also here this way actually I haven't put them perfectly on top of each other yet but there is a little bit of size, um, size difference when we just have the uh, width um, in our hands so if you want a cheaper phone that's also about the same size um, but doesn't do that much we have here the uh, Motorola Moto G cost 200 bucks not 500 bucks um, 4.5 inch screen was built by Google but now it will be Lenovo since Lenovo took over and you can see here again same size but not all the cool features like micro SD slot um, and waterproofness now my favorite this year is still the LG G2 it, it will be a hard decision which one to use because this has a big 5.2 inch screen but actually the same cool features this one has except for no micro SD and no waterproofness but a huge screen which is full HD and you can see there's not much difference in size it looks like it from the front a little bit like there would be but there is actually not I do it like this so you can see here only a few millimeters here on the top and on the side Thickness wise, also can say the same thing I, I think. And 
front, yeah, on the back, plastic, and of course also plastic. The Sony feels a lot more or better um, in quality, but the price of the LG is also just $299 or um, uh, $399 anymore. And since I don't have a Sony Xperia Z1 or um, Z actually anymore, I have the Z, uh, ZL here, which is the 5 inch full HD version from last year. That's also quite good. Came out also in the beginning of the year, like the Z1 Compact. So one year later we have now, yeah, you could say the successor, which is actually a little bit smaller only. And yeah, this, as I said in the back, 5 inch Full HD screen. Of course not Snapdragon 800 and not the 20 megapixel camera, but actually you can also think about buying that one. Even though that's also not waterproof, but um, it's also a really quite good phone if you're interested. I can totally recommend it. Check out my review here on the channel. So we have two more phones to go here. I have on the table the Samsung Galaxy S4. Soon the S5 of course coming out. Um, this is also looking quite good, but um, the um, Z1 is just really here again smaller when it comes to um, size and average but of course 5 inches again against 4.3 inches here we go put them on top of each other so you guys can see the size difference and in thickness the Samsung looks a lot slimmer but it's not that much slimmer actually but it feels lighter and uh, cheaper um, because it's a lot of plastic in there and then just something to show you guys Compared to, a, compared to a 6 inch smartphone like the Nokia Lumia 1520, the um, Sony Xperia Z1 is looking like this compact. Um, so quite a tiny phone you could say, putting them on top of each other from the front. Yeah, there's like at least two fingers of difference here and more than one here. Uh, but at least in thickness and again, um, Things that are inside there are about the same, a Snapdragon 800, 20 megapixel camera, um, yeah, beautiful design and, and so on and so on. So you will see or we will show you guys just in a few days um, all the cool features. Thank you much for watching. I am excited to test this little fella. I hope you like my little unboxing. Till next time, peace in and again. My name is Balaj and don't forget to subscribe to Enable TV.